I am predicting that there will be a pandemic in a couple of weeks in the nation. I am going to send a lady to you. She's wearing a red gown. I repeat, a red gown. Hello. You're welcome back to class. And um, my name is Ashraf. And you'll be wondering, what have I just seen? Uh, you know, the last time we were in class, I told you guys to take a challenge, uh, record something. And today, while cycling in the morning in the lockdown, which probably the governor might find out, I, I just thought, uh, why can't I just do something like that? Um, I have a clip here about um, a lady giving something to another lady. So I'm just going to use this video. I think, I think by now you know what's going on. I'm going to match it with the other one that I had um, with the lady, with the ladies giving something to the other. And uh, we are going to make something a sense out of that. Um, I am going to call it COVID apocalypse. So let's get into it, like right now. So the first thing you're supposed to do uh, as a YouTube channel is to make sure you are playing an awesome intro. I'm going back there and I'm throwing that intro back on her face. Whoa, awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to start a new project from here okay I'm gonna start a new project um, I'm gonna name it class uh, uh, class 4 because uh, this is our fourth video then um, so and class 4 has been created for us uh, on our timeline we still have uh, the intro here still there so I think that's the, another difference between uh, 2018, the new interface compared to the old inf interface. So I have a folder here where I kept all the stuff. I'm just going to copy everything. Uh, this is no more useful and put it here. Now, this is still there and I don't want to work on this timeline. I don't want to work on this timeline so I'm just going to create a new timeline from sequence I think you saw how that one went I'm gonna click OK and we are going to have a new sequence so now my first video is this one which my mouth is wide open uh, I'm gonna drag it down here and um, it's going to ask me because as you can see this is a 4 by 3 sequence uh, it's not big enough so i am going to change the sequence setting to match the video that i'm bringing in oh that's such a big mouth there right so now the next thing i am going to do is to listen to the clip that i have here so now. I am predicting that there will be a pandemic in a couple of weeks in the nation. I am going to send a lady to you. She's wearing a red gown. I repeat, a red gown. No, now after that red gown, I want the video of the lady in red uh, to be playing along my voice. So that means my voice will be under and you will still be hearing, you will still be watching, you will still be seeing the video of the lady coming in. I can come here in my preview and look at this icon here and this one. Then it's telling me that I can drag only the video or I drag only the audio. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to drag only the video. So now, immediately when I'm saying... Oh my red, god. Red gown. I repeat, a red gown. So that's, um, I'm going to cut this video. I'm going to shift it backward. So that I'm going to make sure the red gown is there. Now, look at this. Now, I, I this, this uh, 
sequence is based on the video I brought in from my cycling and this other video is small compared to it uh, I don't even know what's going on because this is supposed to be a DSLR video this um, cycling video is from the phone so that's I don't know so remember what we did the last time I am supposed to go for uh, scale to frame and this will fill my frame like that so and you can see as uh, she's coming so now I want to pick the video from here where she's coming and something I can do is to mark in the video here so if I mark in the video here I can I can pick just that part you see so it's going to pick just this part of it and it's going to cut away this other part which uh, she's not in the frame so I'm going to pick the video I'm going to bring it here so I I, I want to adjust this okay red girl okay so that's the lady in red gown and the video is uh, it's not filling up this, this the frame so i'm gonna make it fill up the frame so the lady in red gown is moving oh my god i'm running away from the pandemic uh i want to move this back a little so this will be around here now before i move on i want to make this awesome um, music background and put it just under the clip now when i put that just under the clip uh, now let me zoom in and let us see what's going on here now you see this space this space what does that mean that means that the the audio here is silent so there is no sound on it the sound continues from here it's uh, exponentially move up here so i'm gonna put that below my you can actually put it anywhere the, 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 what matter is that they are playing simultaneously so i am predicting that there will be a pandemic in a couple of weeks in the nation now what's the problem you notice here the background is getting almost louder than the foreground i mean the sound so now how do you correct that now look at the channel that's this a2 uh, where the audio is taking i can actually move this down when you move this down when you move this down enough you are going to notice a line here and that line is um, is the volume now it's eating now if it is uh, normal like this uh, you're not going to see it but if you extend it you are going to see that so what i will do is that you can drag that down drive don't forget that dragging is um what we do here mostly so when you play that, that there will be a pandemic in a couple of I weeks still find in the it nation very loud. i am going to send a lady to you she's wearing a red gown i repeat a red gown so when i am talking about uh, she is going only going to smile she cannot talk so don't try to talk to her i want the video of uh, her in there so now i'm going to use the same style i used the other time i'm going to copy only the video so this is going to drag only the video and it's going to put it on top of this so now i'm going to let this fill up now what do you notice here uh, you see a picture in picture here so that means um, now if you want to do a picture in picture it's as simple as this don't forget the hierarchy matters now a video that is on top will always be the one that is in front here so i just going i'm just going to um scale to frame so that you can have that she's only gonna smile she cannot talk so don't try to talk to her so i'm going to send her so the lady in blue. and you are going to take the kid and you are going to stay 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 and be on the lockdown now whatever I'm saying here, I can hardly hear myself out. I'm just gonna cut those parts out that I'm that is just very noisy. I think the hair is coming into the mic. So I'm gonna cut those parts out and um, 
I'm gonna leave the part that is more audible. I will see you. Stay safe. So I want to just put, please stay safe. So around this place, I think that's where I said, please stay safe. Let me play it over again so we can. Please, please stay safe. So I need the second, please. So let me just cut from the second, please. There, I am going back and see what makes sense here. I will see you. Okay, so I will see you is the last time I heard myself clearly. I will see you. I'm gonna cut that part off. And now, this old place that is highlighted ash, ash, it's an ash wall, that's my wall. I am gonna delete that. By pressing, by highlighting what I want to delete, I just press delete. Um, I see a lot of beginners, anytime they use uh, the razor, they don't go back with the selection tool that is here. So when they pick the uh, the razor here, it's, um, it's like holding the blade when you are trying to make your clothes. Uh, you know, there's a part you hold me needle, there's a part you hold uh, the razor. So <laughs> you just make sure when you are done with your razor, you will leave the razor and go back to your selection tool. Select it to do most of the work by selecting your clip. So if I don't pick this selection so I won't be able to pick on this. That's one. Number two is that you have to, this is like a rope. Huh? You want to cut the bad part of a rope out. Yeah. Uh, don't worry about the knife. I'm just using it to make, to, to, um, I'm taking orange. So, uh -huh. so now this, let's say this is your timeline. And this part of the video is bad, so you cut the beginning and you cut the end. So if it doesn't work, if you don't do it like that, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. So that's that's how it is. It's not that I cut and I I try deleting and thing everything go away. So let's go back to our scene. I um, I already cut this part out. It has been selected and I delete by pressing delete. Then I move this and join them together. So. I'm playing back, see what's, um, what we've got. I will see you. Please stay safe. And Afghan at home. So I like this song that is just going at the background. So, um, see what I do mostly is that at the end of a song, there's always this dramatic closing. So I am very sure if I cut the audio here, I won't get the dramatic closing. So I want to go and get the dramatic closing at the end. I need it to be more dramatic than that. So I am going to drag this. Uh, the silent part is going to be under stay safe and I will need to use this other hand here for something else. So, so I'm going um, to say let's go that again. Nice. We need to look at um, how to add um, transitions, then how to put effects on your work. And those are the two things. I think we are supposed to discuss about effect control. Before I add the effects, I want to do my text. Over here, I am going to type COVID apocalypse. Now, I am coming to my type tool here. So I am coming to the scene. Uh, the name is going to be capital letter COVID Apocalypse. I don't know if I get the spelling right. Now, now that thing you have to be uh, careful about is making sure that your texts are centralized. At the beginning of uh, the, this classes, I spoke about um, framing, yeah, framing, that are making sure your things are at the right position on your screen. You might not have um, this line on your software. I activated this line because I need to set my elements to set them very well. 
Now, if you look at this COVID apocalypse, there is uh, dots at the middle, there is dot at the edge, there is dot at the middle on, on the side also. So what I'm doing is that this line here is um, pointing directly to this middle here and the middle of this to the middle of that and the middle of this to the middle of that. So uh, I'm sure that just by me looking at this, my uh, my text is at the middle now. If you want to activate this uh, line here, which is here, see it's no more there. Now it's here. So you look at this button here, press it plus, then you are going for save margin. Then you are going to drag save margin down to these other icons here. There are other things that are there that are just nice. I, I like this part thing also. This uh, make you snap the picture of what is on your frame and save it to your computer. So uh, we don't need that now. So now I have COVID apocalypse. Now I want this COVID to be in red. Or oh, let me make this apocalypse be in red and COVID uh, white. So now next place we are going to go is the effect control, which is over here. Then I go to effect control. The effect control should be here. Yeah, your effect control has to be here. If you are not getting your effect control, you go to Windows, then you make sure your effect control is ticked, or you press F4. So now we have the effect control. Now I get to effect control, there are a lot of things here. We have uh, position and scaling. Now this is an, an important part of this software. The position and scaling allow you to move your um, elements this is left or right so i'm just scrubbing on this um, by dragging the numbers to the left and right if you come on this you can just drag left and right just come on it and drag left and right or you can click on it and type in your um uh, what will I call that? I, 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 since you are dealing with positioning, then I can just call it position. So you can type where you want it to be on, on your screen there. So it's important. And here also we have a scale that can make anything on your frame over here big or small. So I like my text to be just intact uh, the way I type them. I don't like uh, scaling over here or else it's very important. So when I go way down, oh, we also have rotation for when you need to rotate and we have opacity. Opacity is the transparency. So I don't know why Adobe keep um, this, uh, this clicked on uh, as default. You have to click off this, then you can make uh, something come up in transparency or go down in transparency so we are not yet where we are going now this is where we are going this is text covid apocalypse so now this is where we do our rearrangements i can change the icon sorry the front the font of my um text over here so i think i have a lot of fonts uh, we might not have time for me to look for fonts that look so uh, crazy here. Let, let me use this one. Huh, you're not looking very nice. So I am going to go back here, double click, and by double clicking, automatically it highlights it. So I am going to highlight Apocalypse now. If that is not working for you, that means you have to go back to your text button, which is down here, and. Um, I click on it then do that to your text so I am going to click the fill here fill means uh, you want to paint something I am going to make this red I'm going to click OK and it's already red so I am going to make it bold so that the apocalypse can come out since it's now red and red is on top of black that might not show very well so I come to regular here, click down, then I get my bold, um, bold condensed. I have bold here that is not condensed. So if I click back my selection tool, 
you have your COVID apocalypse as um, white and red. So now the next thing I want to do is to put uh, a transition on this. And uh, the best transition for this is going to be Zoom. Now, where do you get your transition? If you come to effects here, you go to effects, then um, this is where you get your all your effects and your transitions. So now we have audio transitions. Uh, we have uh, we have um, don't forget over here at audio transitions. What is more important for to you is uh, cross fade. Now, if something is playing and um, you just don't stop it promptly like that, you make them fade out. So with these three used, you can fade out your um, your audio. So that's kind of professional. If you don't, um, unless if the situation calls for you not fading out, then most of the time you fade out your work when you're done. So and um we have uh, all the video transition there are lots of video transitions see these are folders when i click down the arrow you are going to see the um the transitions in there as you can see this that is the uh, icon for transition so over here and um now there are a lot of things here i i'm going for zoom I know here yeah, what I'm looking for is uh, I think uh, if you just use the software more often then you know what where yeah, what you are looking for is now I am going to drag this it's all about dragging that I'm going to drag it I'm dragging and um, the transition come at the edge of your elements on the timeline at the edge so if you're going to put this on top of this it's not going to work until you put it at the edge now this is between two videos it can be between two two joint videos if i put it down then you see that i saw already connecting the two videos but I, I am not trying to do that so i bring this zoom in here and um now if i play this so it's supposed to, oh now oh it has fixed itself nice so so now let me extend this make it longer now you can remove your um you can remove your transition by clicking on the transition now you are clicking on the elements now now when you come click on the transition it's another ball game as a matter of fact uh your effect control will change here which you can do some other settings here which we are not covering in the basics so now if you click on this you can delete the effect now i'm gonna put the effect on the two elements together now one will go out and another will come in this is the begin i don't know it's, uh... well i think it is every time i play this i have a feeling that the So now we have that. Um, it looks nice. Please right? stay safe. Now that is that about that. Um, so now let's talk about effect. Effect is a little bit different. While your transition is going to be at the beginning of your element, effect will be on top of the element. So. Um, you're, you are dragging your uh, transition at the edge of this over here but your effect will be on top of the element now if you want your effect not to be used for all your clips on the timeline you just make sure the parts you want it to be you cut them out then when you cut them out you place them just where you want them to be before we go to the effects, I, I still have this feeling that um, my 
background sound is still very loud so now now this line might not be adequate for you the level of loudness here the volume is still very loud so now if you click on this and go to your audio clip which is in front of this then you can even work more on this uh, now let's play that Red gaps, I repeat. on the you see a2 here and this is a2 so i'm gonna drop down this i'm gonna drop down this more okay so you can see i am predicting uh, that there will be a pandemic in a couple of weeks in the nation i am going to send a lady to you she's wearing a red gown i repeat a red gown now at the end of this uh since i'm done talking i want this to be louder here so now i cut it off the other part of this and um now let's go i will down. see you please stay safe at the beginning of this i think uh, i have a feeling that this should have an intro so now i am going to highlight everything that i have here this is supposed to have intro just like as uh, outro so i am going to shift this back i have a space here now i'm going to create um before the pandemic so before the pandemic i centralize it now i'm going to my effect control i go down and um, i'm seeing before the pandemic so everything under this uh, they are going to be um what i will adjust to have effect on this text here so now i like calibre as a font so I'm going to look for Calibri, Cali, Calibri, um, Calibri Broad, mm, uh, I would prefer regular Calibri. So I centralize my text and make it a little bit smaller and I like it that way. So I, I centralize it. Then, um, uh, for more artistic effect, I want it to be longer. I want the text to be separated. I still, yep, uh, school. Now, let me play this. For how many seconds this is? This is going for just um, twenty one seconds. Now I want this to go for four seconds. So, now, now you can click at the, you can also click at empty space in your timeline to delete space. So this is what I'm doing now. I click on this empty space, then I delete. So that's another way of getting your, um, your video tight. So if I press Ctrl Z, and i can't do that see what i have to do i have to highlight all my videos then i have to move them back so it is faster sometimes to use that um, style so now i want to add effects to i mean a uh, transition to the to that part to the text the intro text so i am going for audio transition i like to use this dissolve and i have cross dissolve i put it at the beginning mm, so i think that's enough so i have predicted that there will be a pandemic in a couple of weeks in the nation i am going to send a lady to you she's wearing a red gown i repeat a red gown oh my god I'm running away from the pandemic. Oh, I'm cycling. Huh, now, now, let's talk about the effects. Now, um, 
if you want to use any effects i've been thinking of the effect i can use on this video that can make something even more interesting but i have not come up with any so because um, we are still going to adjust the brightness uh, of this video here that i have a feeling that it's too bright and it's not colorful so i am going to adjust that so um let's say this is this brightness is here okay so we have brightness here so if i drag brightness on this now it's telling me plus you can see a little two dots there uh, that is plus you're looking at so if i drag this on it uh there's nothing happening until you come to effect control here then you are going to find um, brightness and contrast so i am taking down the brightness i am increasing the contrast so when i do that you can see the contrast allow the colors to come out more so i repeat so i want to do the same thing for the other video here um i just drag it's a, if you don't drag it here you won't get it you it won't it's not it won't come up on your effects control so i have done that uh, i think this is okay um if i give it a little bit of contrast then you have more colors on it okay so i want to go back then take this brightness even down okay so and i want to do the same thing for when I was cycling, I have a feeling that um, so much uh, um, it's too bright. So I take the brightness down. Uh, I don't like how the bright brightness is reacting on this. So I will just give a little bit of um, contrast. Just a little bit. In fact, I don't think it needs any contrast. So now okay this is another part of this that we have to look at and that is um, the effects tab now beyond the beyond the effect that you have at this side of the system yeah i think i'm pointing to you now at this side of the system that i shown you um of the interface that i shown you then what is the essence of the um the other tabs on top of the software so we are going to look at that now we are going to see why we have them here now if you come to effect here which is going to load in a couple of seconds now see that is what i'm talking about over here you see that the interface has changed now we cannot we don't have the preview um tab here anymore then we have the um the preview for the timeline here it's been centralized then at this side we have the effect list now what does that mean simply this means that we can even work more on the effect and then essential graphic essential sound lumetri color so this is where you adjust all your colors and um, it's fun working here so if you want to adjust your color you can see temperature tone exposure uh, exposure contrast highlight so if i want to work more on this make it look more professional i'll come here and do some of the magic so um i have a feeling that is uh, more than um that is more than basic so i'm gonna skip back to editing and move on from there so when we skip back to editing the next thing now is uh we are done with our video and um now i am going to render this render me means that we want to make it into a video something you can send to your phone and share so now i I'm going to delete every other thing on my timeline. I actually don't need to if I am going to mark in and out. So how do you mark in and out? If your cursor is here at the beginning and you mark in and you go to 
the last place you want to render so this means that the computer is going to render this part alone so every other thing on your timeline they will be ignored so now i am going to file and i'm going to export then media let's wait for that to load up okay so we have it here now so the format of your export now if i if you click down here you are going to see different formats now i can continue go on and on telling you this format uh, why they are different blah 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 or i can just tell you the best format that i render in this h.264 is awesome it's uh it's going to give you um just what you have on your timeline is not going to lose quality much in fact you it doesn't look quality let me just put it that way so and um it's an mp4 so that means that um, when you are done with it it's not going to have this massive um output that other formats might want to give you it's going to have um, considerable uh, cool um, size and is also going to be clear and work on your phone right away i mean you can just send it to anybody and you start watching it uh, you don't need to compare because most of the time when premiere is done the output is always massive and uh, you have to compress them so we might be talking about compression later but not for today so now another problem that people used to face here is uh, when they press render or export which is here and they don't know where the video is now if you look at this output and look at the address that is being given this is a uh, document and so this whole thing is going to go to my document and if i click on this sequence 01 which is the computer idea of giving me a name i am going to change it to covid apple so because i'm too lazy to spell apocalypse so i just gonna click exports and um i'll wait until it's done rendering do take some time oh uh, whoa so don't don't be alarmed if your rendering is um slow rendering is one of the reasons why we buy expensive systems so now our rendering is done um let's see what we've uh, what we've achieved i am predicting that there will be a pandemic in a couple of weeks in the nation i am going to send a lady to you she's wearing a red gown i repeat a red gown oh my god I'm running away from the pandemic. Oh, and I'm cycling. You see that? I am going to another country. So, she's only gonna smile. She cannot talk. So don't try to talk to her. So I'm going to send her. And you're going to take the kids. And you're going to stay safe. And be on the lockdown. I will see you. Please stay safe. Alright, so thank you for being around today. Uh, make sure you find, uh, do something with this. And when you do something with this, um, you can buzz me up on WhatsApp. Let me see what you've done. And if you have any problem, we can just solve it. And uh, if you're going to put it on Instagram, my Instagram is at Ashnimator. So I want to see what you've done. I want to critique it if um to hard to eat and i don't know if it can get even more awesome so uh, stay safe don't do drugs bye and have fun at home and make sure you subscribe to my channel where i'll be teaching you how to manipulate how to premiere uh, your brother ash <laughs>